Hi, today I will show you how to download, install and customize Tablet Friend. In case you don't already know, Tablet Friend is an on-screen toolbar constructor designed for Windows tablets. It can emulate key presses, toggle buttons, type, launch programs, and pretty much do whatever you want it to do. To start using Tablet Friend, go to this GitHub page. Link will be in the description. Go to releases and grab the latest version. After it's been downloaded, simply unzip the archive and launch the program. On first launch, Tablet Friend will ask you if you want to copy it to app data or use it in portable mode. Click yes or no depending on what you want and the installation will be complete. As you can see, we now have a new tray icon and the default toolbar. It provides the most commonly used keyboard shortcuts and has a compact version which you can enable by pressing this little arrow icon on the bottom. You can also left-click the tray icon to show or hide the toolbar. Right-clicking the toolbar itself will bring up the list of all the available toolbars and the docking options. In undocked mode, the toolbar will go transparent after a while so it doesn't disturb you when you don't need it. Let's dock our toolbar to the left. Now, the window is no longer floating and all the other windows will respect its position when docking. Nevertheless, the default toolbars may not be enough for you. Maybe you're an artist and want specific keybinds for your software or would like to customize the look and feel of the buttons to better suit you. Luckily, all of this is possible. Let's right-click the tray icon and select the Open Layouts directory. This will bring up the folder where all the layouts are stored. You can open layout files in pretty much any text editor you want, but I recommend the Visual Studio Code because it gives you nice colored highlighting. Let's create a new layout file and name it newlayouts.yaml. In there, we'll write a couple lines to create a new button. First, I'll write theme, then button size and set it to 64. This is not necessary, but we'll make the buttons bigger for the purposes of this video. Then type buttons. This is our list of buttons. Then type the button name. It can be whatever you want. I'll type new button. Just make sure that all the buttons have different names. After that, add the text field. This will be what is displayed on the button. And the action field. It determines what action the button will perform. I'll type A, which means that the button will emulate the A key. Now press Ctrl S to save the file and right click the layout window. Our new layout will appear there automatically. And here's our button. Let's check if it works. You can also change the size of the button with the size property. Let's make this one wider. Press Ctrl S again and the layout will be updated. Now let's add copy and paste buttons. To input a key combination instead of a single key, type Ctrl plus C. Again, save the config file to see your changes. It works, but I don't really like the text on the buttons. Let's change it to an icon. Simply go to this website Link will be in the description. Search for the icon you want. Um, I want a copy icon. Now let's copy its name and paste it into our layout. All those icons are already built in. You just need to reference their names. Let's also add the style property to change how the buttons look. And now our toolbar can copy and paste. You can even do something unconventional, like launching a new explorer window with a button. And as a finishing touch, let's change the color scheme of the layout. Type external theme at the top, now type files slash themes slash white.yaml. Now press Ctrl S and the colors of the layout will change. You can also poke around at the themes directory, see what's available or make your own themes. I know all this may be a bit intimidating at first, but believe me, once you get the hang of it, editing a layout becomes extremely easy. You can even go ahead and edit the existing layouts, change their buttons, color schemes and pretty much do whatever you want. And that will be it for today. 
If you want to learn more, you can always read the GitHub tutorial. It has all the information you'll ever need to create your own toolbars. Enjoy! I am a small Chilean boy, and let me tell you, uh, if a tablet friend is the best application I've never used.